Yeah, well, good morning, brother. Good morning. Thank you for meeting with me today, man. I just, you know, I've known you for over 10 years. <laughs> yeah. Long and journey. It's just been a, it's been a journey. <laughs> it has. For sure. And so I just want to open with a word of prayer real quick, okay. just to give God thanks. God, we just thank you for this morning, this wonderful sunny day. God, I thank you for my friend Duncan. I, I thank you, God, for the work that you're doing in his life. And I thank you, Lord, for the work that he's doing, just trusting you and, and having faith in this plan that you have for him, God, to get him uh, into a house and to get him back uh, to a job and just getting back into uh, society and being able to be around his family and friends. May this, may this video just raise awareness of the struggle of homelessness and addiction. And God, may you just uh, bless all those who see it in Jesus' name. Amen. Yeah, so I think back to the first time I met you at Higher Power, mm -hmm. like I think 10 years ago, yeah. you know, and, and we don't have to say where you were working, but you had a job, you know, it was a stable job and, and uh, you know, you ran into some challenges. Yeah. You ran into some challenges, right? Yep. And, you know, those challenges caused you to lose that job. Yeah. You know. Addiction, being around the wrong people, the wrong crowds. You know, just you get to that comfort of when you were on the bottom and then you get back up on track and there's just too much money flow and everything else. And just being around the, the party life, you stop one addiction to get back into another addiction and then it just mm -hmm. went down a little bit from there, you know? Yeah. From losing a good job to then realizing that you have a problem with drugs the drinking and using cocaine and everything, everything yeah. else. And then that went from there to getting into meeting you guys at Higher Power, mm -hmm. starting to regularly go to Higher Power, start going to more me more meetings in 90 days, mm -hmm. sponsors, you know, and then just, just more mainly focusing on that yeah. instead of, you know, um, anything else, you know, so. So for you, the job and, and you know, having the money along with your addiction, yeah, right? Was it, it was bad, it yeah. It was challenging yeah, for you. And just the people I was hanging with, you know, just, mm -hmm. you know, that li that lifestyle, you know, and like not realizing, not realizing what, what you have in front of you. Like I, I did have somebody that really, really cared for me um, and a girlfriend, you know, that got me out of the situation, but I, di I didn't think that I was young. Um, and I just decided to think, hey, this was the life, you know, um, you know, drugs, alcohol, women, everything like that. And that's what I led to. Had the job, was comfortable with the job, was in the job for a while, mm -hmm. thought it was comfortable. And then you just get into that addiction where it's just, you know, I can do this, I can do this. And then you start doing bad habits and made some bad choices, bad choices, made yeah. some bad choices. And, you know, yeah. and just. You know, you have to like take those and learn from them, you know? Yeah. Yeah, so <clears throat> like I said, it's been 10 years and I know that you've had some really great progress. Yeah. You know, like you said, going to meetings and going to church and getting into like a new community of people, yep. which is really important for you. But, you know, like you said, I think there was some relationships. Relationship that issues. That set you back. Relationship you know, issues set me back. Struggled you know, with, struggles yeah. with that, you know? And, and then, you know, then, you know, it almost, I almost lost everything, you know, and I lost my dad due to addiction. That almost set me back. But I was just, I had recovery under me and I had a good supporting cast. Mm -hmm. So that was a big blow. But just knowing that even when you change your life around, I want everybody to know, um, even making the right moves and changing your life around does not mean everything's going to be perfect, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, you, you from whatever you go through, if it's addiction, if it's in relationships, mm -hmm. if it's in anything in life, getting another job or anything, it's going to take complete hard work, the steps, the supporting cast, mm -hmm. all of that to continue yeah. the, the support group and everything else of what you do, you know? So you realize that the community that you have around you Yeah, you got to have a community, you got to have a important. team, you got to, yeah. you got to, like you say, also God is the biggest thing. Because you can have all of this, you can do all of this, but if you don't have a higher power in God and believe, not only believe in yourself, 
but believe in the Lord and a higher power, you got to be able to like go with that. You know, you got to be able to go with that mm -hmm. and be able to know with God, mm -hmm. all things are possible. You know, there'll be days that's going to be challenging, ups and down days, but you got to be able to go with that and have that team that helps you, you know? Yeah. Yeah. You know, so for this part of the, the interview, I just wanted to talk about where you're at now. And, and I know that we've, uh, we went and visited a apartment yeah. that you know god willing that works out and you'll be getting into an apartment in belmont yeah and that's very exciting yeah it's been a journey you know it's been a journey like you said being homeless you know um on and off you know losing my job the pandemic also um you know i had the bj's job had an in-home care job lost both of those mm -hmm. and then just, just times got tough you know i was work staying with people and just got overwhelmed and was on the streets and just hit by the streets and then was on the streets for on and off. Mm -hmm. And then just, you know, then just stay in different places, getting into relationships, staying there for a while. Mm -hmm. But then, like you said, then, you know, getting to that, that journey and then having to get to the point where a bunch of places just, you, you run out of time, run out of different places. Yeah. You know, staying with my buddy that had dogs. And, and then it just got to the point where it's just like, I can't just keep on, you know, living with these people. Also, you know, it gets to a point where you've been there for so long, you know, you don't want to jeopardize their place. You want to just take the the gratitude and the gratefulness of these people letting you to be able to stay here for a while. Yeah. It could have been worse. And then that's when I had to make the decision of humbling myself, go to a shelter for a little bit. And then yeah. there was ups and downs there. Yeah. And I left some challenges left. with that. Some good some, some good challenges, some good things. I mean I'm grateful that, you know, I mean, they be hadn't been in there for at least three months because that could have been three months that I would have been on the streets yeah. or staying in different places. But then it just came to it apart to my decision and me talking with God that this just wasn't the right place for me to be there. I just didn't see succeed. I did not see yeah. my road of going successful being there. I just didn't see the help, the support, yeah. everybody being in the same goal of where I wanted to go. So mm -hmm. I had to make that tough decision yeah. of walking out of there right. and leaving my faith in the God. And that opened up doors yeah. where that got me into the, the organization with Life Moves. They were able to help me yeah. here at the hotels. And then now it's opened up two opportunities you know first we had one opportunity down here in Robot City was going to get me a place in mm -hmm. Casa Esperanzo. Bronzo fortunately mm -hmm. there was some ups and downs some yeah, misleds or whatever mm -hmm. you know we found out the honest truth going down here um, what the issue was there was a lot of applications yeah um, you know um, so this that, process that, 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 yeah. has been it's been a big progress you know yeah. it's, it's, it's just, been longer than I think it's you been ever longer it's imagine. been longer than yeah you really really expected yeah. like you know and I want everybody to know, like, get out there that's homeless, mental health issues, drug addiction. It's, it's a long progress, but it's worth it yeah. in the end if you work hard. And whichever road that you go for, only you know. Everybody yeah. knows. Every person is different. Sometimes it might be the mental health way. Maybe it's yeah. going through a drug program. Maybe it's going through Serenity House. Maybe it's going through a shelter. But everybody, only you and God and your supporting cast will know. Yeah. But me it's built i'm glad i went through all of the journeys of living on the streets to stay in place to place relationship different place shelter yeah to hotels to going back to when i was in the samaritan houses program yeah to leading to now almost being right there you know like yeah. being here and now we're just gonna be just taking it day take, by day. yeah taking it day by day and then being able yeah and then yeah. finally the biggest thing is just like you said, Ricky, being happy that finally now we got an apartment, it's mine. And the biggest thing that I feel so grateful for is we were able to do the walk and now it's just mm -hmm. the waiting game for the inspection and everything else. Yeah. But you're but so like, close. Yeah, so <laughs> close too, to, yeah, yeah. To, like probably two weeks away or whatever. Yeah, I think it's interesting how like, you know, early on you, you kind of became homeless, you lost that job yeah. and then you kind of you started doing your own business your own side business yeah. and i think for a while just talking about how god is you know how through the recovery process you know we went on a retreat together you were able to yeah. kind of utilize the 12-step recovery process yeah. to reconnect with god yeah. to recommit your life to god and to see how god's been transforming you from the inside out 
and and now for some of us who think oh it's having a job it's you know having yeah. have, getting that car getting that it's like no. you know getting and what we realized for you was that that was a distraction that kind of became a distraction for you yeah. even yeah. though you were like i need to make money yeah. and you had a business card you were very creative yeah, you know, you're yeah. very ambitious you had your yeah. business card yeah. you're handing yeah. it out yeah. you're getting a lot of jobs from yeah. people yeah. Yeah. but then it kind of distracted you from kind of getting doing what you need to do yeah, as the far focus, as yeah. focusing on god's work in your life mm -hmm. and getting you you know, on the process of getting housed and all, and going through this process, which is a lot. Like you said, yeah. it's a lot. You got to be available a lot. You got to make meetings. You got to fill out forms. But you know, now to hear where you're at is where you're like, you've kind of stopped doing your side job things. Yeah. You've just focused your time and your energy to, you know, like you said, going to higher power, going to church, being around good people, yeah. going to meetings, these twelve step support meetings for you. And now I'm hearing you say that like you're feeling God's calling you to to give back and help people. Yes. You know, with this new housing and this new situation, you're not going to have to worry about going and hustling and trying no. to start a business and make money. And, you know, you kind of put that on hold yeah. for a minute yep. and you're OK with it now. I know yeah. it was hard for you for yeah. a while, but yeah. now you're seeing like, hey, this this experience, yeah. I can help other people. Yeah, I can be you. I can be available, Yeah. you know, because this housing situation is going to make me be available to continue the to do the inner work with God that he's been doing yeah. in your life. And also to be able to, like you said, be a street life or helping with these other organizations, raise awareness yeah. to really help people, yeah. you know? I do, I do, I do feel that, Ricky, because I mean, it's just like, it took a while for me to learn. And I mean, I've even talked with some of these youngster people. It's like, everybody gets into that. It's like, you bring up with the recovery. Like, it took me a while, like, to, to understand that, like, hey, how am I going to be able to survive? Like, yeah. when, when, you, when you lose this job and that's your income and everything. Yeah. But you know, I've been so blessed to be like at least to be able to like live in like certain situations where it's not either living with somebody or not really having to pay much or anything. So it's like, you, but you, it's like you said, you have to lean on that care group. You got to lean on that team, and you got to realize what the main prize is. Like, you know, there's gonna be jobs. There's gonna be all of that coming and going. Yeah. You got to focus on like when it comes down to your health, your recovery, making your whole body feel right because you know you you don't take care of all that stuff yeah you're gonna start seeing you're gonna start having health issues back and forth it's just you know yeah it, it took a while but it yeah. it pays off you know it really pays off you being patient sometimes you know you wanting things to come when you want it but it which was really taking a toll on you physically it, it, it right really and really mentally, was taking you were and, you were and then just realizing just being like hey y'all can just sit back you know your hotels pay for like yeah. yeah, I mean, it's like you're on There's vacation. systems in place it's like, to help you. It's like, it's like you're on rebuild, vacation, yeah. you know, go to the beach, like, <laughs> you know, go and enjoy some. And it's, yeah. Yeah, it was hard for me to realize that because I've always been on that, like, on the go. I've had to make this happen. I've had to us, But you sit back and you realize it and you, you see how much more it's going to mean, like how much it's going to mean, like, yeah. for me to finally have this place to be able to sit back and be able to, OK, yeah, these little side jobs came up. Yeah. It, it helped me with the basics to be able to put some of that off and these these people to understand that because they see the biggest prize for me yeah. is to get housed mm -hmm. as soon as i get housed everything else will come into place yeah two weeks from now i'm already housed i'm already booked up for for eight weeks for catering service for for, yeah. for catering service, service. i already have an yeah. income mm -hmm. so i've looked at like yeah. and like you said putting all that stuff on hold you know and mm -hmm. looking at that what are your major priorities to, yeah you know like Okay, moving all yeah, my stuff up. Yeah, and I've seen up. you, like you said, you start going to a therapist. Yeah, you, you go to start going to all your doctor's you appointments to, you know, that you need doctor, to make. You go to all your doctor's appointments. <laughs> yeah, you're getting, you know, you know, you're starting to feel a lot more better. Yeah, you like you start getting that mode of you you're sleeping a little bit better. You're, mm -hmm. you're like, I'm with my dog. I'm more yeah. joyful. I'm like. I mean, yeah, of course, there's going to be still be ups and down days that you're yeah. down and stuff like that. But you're building but you, a foundation. But you, you, you build it. You build that joy yeah, of where you're like, yeah. you're so close that it's mm -hmm. like, and I know it's going to be more challenging, especially when you get your new place. Cause, but now I you mean, have a team of people around you. Yeah, that, that, that knows can, how far you came. Yeah, you're not going to, you're this they're process, not going to, they're not going to let you go me back. Or someone else and just say, yeah. hey, you know, I'm, I'm, th I'm in a minute, another <laughs> kind of detour or road thing <laughs> block here. You know, what do, what do I do? How do I walk through this? Yeah. And I think, you know, for me early on in my recovery, that, that was key. It was crucial to have really these people is, around. Yeah. So I think I'm learning from this process is that it's, it's not just, you know, um, 
it's not just giving people a place to live, which is yeah. super important, yeah. but it's coming alongside them, like you said, and yeah. and encouraging think, them yeah. to, to not worry about going and making that money. I mean, yeah. a lot of folks I talk, think, they want to yeah. start a business, they want to somehow yeah. try to find a way to get income. But the way the system is set up is like you don't have to worry about that right now. <laughs> yep, that's I mean, Focus that's on a, yourself. Oh, that's the biggest thing that we we've had. I mean, I've even seen a young kid at a higher power. You know, I mean. I know like they've been praying over them, but my biggest thing is I've, I've seen that impact that I can give to that kid's life. I mean, Jacob's seen him, his name's Andrew. Yeah. But like, I've, I've even said to him, he's so young and he's like in early recovery. He hasn't found like a sponsor and di different things. Yeah. But I try to tell him also like, hey, you know, you're still very, very young, man. If I could take switch your ages mm -hmm. to like what I know now to go do your age, like it's just simple things. If you can make a difference in somebody's life, mm -hmm. it's just, you know, and you try to find them where they're at and break yeah. down, break down what their good qualities are and what they have and see what they need and help mm -hmm. them because it's just like if you, we can get people to like look at their factors and what they need and what yeah. they help help them with that and not worry about those other things you know if you say hey why don't you just follow us in this lead yeah. everything you're not going to worry about like you know and yeah. that's i that's what it, it, it when i started seeing people just like hey okay if you just Go to these meetings and all. Don't worry about things, you know. Yeah. I'm like, well, well what about? How am I not going to be? You got stuff to do. I'm like, I'm <laughs> You're like, I, I got mean, things I, to do. How am I not going to be able to worry about things? Money. Yeah. They just trust us, trust us, and and then it came too. There were yeah. times that I didn't know where I was going to get money. Like work was slowing down. They seen that I was drinking a lot. Things were going well, but I had people step up. Hey, yeah. okay, here's a little bit of money for this. Here's a little bit of this, and and, and it works. You have to, you have to treat the progress of. Yeah. You know. Uh, leaning on these people, leaning on God to help the solution, you know? Yeah, you have to surrender. You have to surrender that and be powerless. Independence because, that you came to rely because, I mean, on. Because yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a journey. I mean, I've tough. seen people that can be housed real soon. Mm -hmm. And then I can see people that have taken long, that, that just, it's been a longer journey. But long time. This is the biggest thing is just not giving up, having a supporting cast mm -hmm. and having God, you know, in your life. That, and, and then knowing whenever you get to that point, in your life to try to help another person so you know. cool. well i appreciate your time on yeah. this and i look forward to you know following up with you yeah. and just you know seeing seeing what's next for you and uh thank you for never giving up never and you know I mean, we've had such difficult conversations yeah. before to where you're like i'm just done with this i'm gonna give up and thank you for never giving up and just trusting the process and i'm just excited so i'm gonna just close with some prayer for you brother all right Heavenly Father, I'm so grateful for Duncan. I'm just so grateful, God, that you are faithful and that um, in all of our lives, God, we all have ups and downs and we have struggles. Some are more extreme than others, God, but you care deeply and you care the same about each trial and each challenge, God. So we thank you for the generosity of all those who have helped Duncan and, and his situation um, get this far. And uh, we just thank you again, God, for just the generosity of everybody, all the organizations and individual people who have helped Duncan along the way. And we're just excited to celebrate with him when he gets his new place and he gets on his feet and starts his new journey. Pray and ask that you would just uh, uh, keep the seriousness and importance in Duncan's heart of staying with his support team that he's had, that uh, uh, this new journey doesn't mean that you slow down. Now it's time to uh, to get more connected and more busy finding what what uh, what the will is for your will for him, God, which is to give back to others and help others. So um, thank you, God, for his patience and his uh, endurance to to continuing to um, just stay on this journey in the most toughest times that we could imagine. God, he continued to um, to follow the process and to trust you and trust this. So we're blessed by Duncan's life. We're blessed by his journey. May we all learn from it, uh, that you are good, but that you work in your own time, but that you are faithful. And um, for those who wait upon the Lord, uh, we thank you for Duncan. Bless his life and bless this day in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. <laughs> yeah. It's good, man. Exciting.